guys, Angela here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do me a favor and stick around until the end of the video just to check me out. See if you like it here. If you do, give me a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos like these, leave a comment, let's get to know each other. If you're returning and you're subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. And if you're returning and you have yet to subscribe, girl, <laughs> You know you like it here, you keep coming back, you may as well hit the subscribe button, join my little community, help me reach my 500 um, subscriber goal. So today's video is going to be a styling video, which is my favorite type of video to create. I get really excited when I come up with an idea for a styling video. And today I'm going to be styling this uh, Pangaea coordinate set. I feel like every time I show y'all a new coordinate that I buy, I say, oh, I love coordinates so much. They're so versatile. You can do so much with them. So I decided that I'm going to show you some of the ways that I style my coordinate pieces together and then in other outfits. So just a quick look at the coordinate that I'm wearing. This is a set from Pangaea. Um, it's just your basic crew neck t-shirt and then um, it is paired with a pair of the short sweat shorts. These shorts do come in a longer version, which I also um, own. And this set fits pretty much true to size so this is a medium I am a medium let me tell you something I watch so many youtubers and girls that are way hippier than me bustier than me have more booty than me are always wearing smalls and I'm like girl how but anyway this is a medium and it fits true to size um the longer shorts and then the shirt that I have the longer shorts like a cropped t-shirt and it's long sleeve that seems to run a little bit bigger so you could size down I could have gone down in a small in that and it still um fit really well but this particular set is true to size is in this really cute like bubblegum pinkish color which I really like um and so yeah this is the set this is what it looks like in the back I just have like a little back tuck so obviously the first way that I would wear this set is as you see it now as a set but of course I would add some accessories to it um depending on where I'm going like this is something that I would typically throw on to run errands or go get groceries or something like that in that instance I'm just gonna throw on some Birkenstocks or some Nike slides or something like that and head out the door but I would also wear this out you know to do some shopping or grab lunch with a friend or something like that so I would probably add some accessories just to like style it up a little bit more so as I said if I were going to be doing something a little more social like maybe going shopping with friends or grabbing lunch I would accessorize it um, to just style it up a little more so what I did is I just threw on this sporty and rich cap y'all know I love baseball caps so y'all knew that was coming Threw on this sporty and rich cap and then I just uh, grabbed the matching tote bag there's absolutely nothing in it but you get the vibes that I'm going for and I'm just super into like this pink and blue like just to position these colors together I really like that and then on my feet I have on a pair of sneakers these are the golden goose high star sneakers um, white with the little silver detail on the side so yeah this is one of the ways that I would style this coordinate as a set I also wore it in a photo shoot that I did and in that instance I wore just like this oversized fatigue um, jacket from free people it's super old um, on top of it and then I wore a blue LA Dodgers hat which is a little bit more of a like a royal blue um, but still blue as I said I like that just position and then on my feet I wore a pair of Stan Smiths you can even wear Stan Smiths with this I just put on the golden goose because the Pangaea with the sporty and rich and the golden goose just screams super suburban mom and you know so next I'm going to show you a couple ways that I would actually style up the top individually now if you're super lazy like like me most times this top and these jeans it's just good to go you can either do like a little front tuck or you could do like a back tuck throw on some sandals and run out the door um, that always works but I actually want to show you two ways that I like to sort of elevate um, a t-shirt so we're gonna do two more elevated looks so uh, I've put on a pair of high waisted jeans um, these are the Levi rib cage jeans these are my favorite high-waisted jeans because they literally come up to your rib cage and I just love um, the way that they fit on my body they are a straight leg cropped jean they do come in a longer inseam so you could get them um, in more of like an ankle style as well but these that I have on are cropped so in the first look there are going to be two steps to elevating the t-shirt and styling it separately from the shorts so the first thing that I'm going to do is tuck it into these jeans okay so we have it all tucked in and I prefer to do this look with a super high-waisted pair of pants just because the shirt tucks tightly into the jeans so you don't have to really worry about it moving too much okay so the second part of this look is going to be to put some cuffs in the sleeves so I'm just adding a couple cuffs here 
Um, I would do them neater than this if I weren't trying to do this in real time on camera. But you want it to sort of look like that. Okay, this is taking longer than I want it to. Okay, so this is the shirt once it's tucked and the sleeves are rolled. I don't know about y'all, but to me this instantly elevates this t-shirt. It brings you in here in the waist and then it adds a little bit of structure um, on the shoulder. And this is pretty much the look. I would wear it exactly like this. I have a pair of heels on, let me show you. So I just threw on a pair of strappy sandals. It's a snake print just to add like a little pop of like something. Um, it's a little higher than a kitten heel, but a super low heel. And then I just grabbed um, a black bag. I am super into carrying my bags on my shoulder i'm usually a crossbody girl but for some reason i've just been liking carrying my bags real old school in this way and so this is the look super casual but cute and elevated can wear it to brunch can wear it to dinner i would even wear this on a date depending on where i'm going so this is look number two so for the second look with the shirt, I've taken the cuffs off the sleeves and we're gonna add a blazer and that's literally all. I did change the shoes. I'll show y'all um, what shoes I changed into. But the addition of the blazer is literally the only difference I'm gonna make. Now I am going to uh, cuff my sleeves up a little bit because I like um, the way that that looks on an oversized uh, blazer. Keep the shirt tucked into the pants super tight. Um, and then let me show you the shoes that I put on. So we're keeping the black bag as an accessory. And then for the shoes, I just added a pair of mules. These are um, just a pair of white strappy mules. And I thought that the white would be a cute addition to the pink and the black. So adding a little more color into the look. So now I'm going to show you a couple ways that I would style the shorts up individually. I've already actually put on the first look. So this first look is sort of a combination between like sporty and sexy. Um, I have the shorts on and I've paired it with this crop from um, Zara. It's super old cropped but it's ribbed it has a few cutouts um on the shoulder and on the side and i just love the combination of like a leisure bottom like a sweatpant or a sweat short and then you know some type of like crop top or bodysuit or a one shoulder shirt or you know some asymmetry or something like that um i went with a crop with some cutouts and I just I love the way that these um, look together you can either wear this like super casual with a pair of just sandals um, and a crossbody bag or you can throw on some heels and dress it up a little bit so as I said for a more casual look you could just throw on a crossbody as I have it here and then on my feet I just have on a pair of flat sandals these are my Arizona love Trekkie sandals um, in the bandana colorway and this would be something that I would wear um, to one of Chicago's mini summer festivals um, or just, you know, a casual hang with friends and things like that. But if I wanted to dress this look up, I would add some heels. So let's do that. So we are back with the bag on our shoulders. And then I've switched the shoes out to a pair of white strappy sandals just to dress it up a little bit. And that takes the outfit from casual to more dressy. I could wear this to like a day party or a more elevated brunch or something like that. So this is outfit number three. <laughs> And for the last look that I'm going to share today, I paired the shorts with this collar shirt, which is another way that I love to elevate like a sport bottom. So I would do this with sweatpants as well. And I just love the combination of like feminine and sporty in this look. I would typically wear this with a more oversized like poplin blouse. Um, and I would play around with the colors. You can either do this with like an all white poplin. I also have like a blue um, and white poplin, like much like this one that I have on um, now. I would either do that. Both of those are super um, oversized, so they fall um, over the shorts and you may see just a tad bit of the short. I like that look, but I love this shirt and I love this shirt with the shorts. It's a little more fitted than a poplin shirt. So what I did is I just buttoned the middle button here and then I left the bottom and the top unbuttoned just to, you know, make it a little more sexy, give you some cleavage, give you a little peekaboo of the belly and I'm leaving it untucked. And since this is sort of a dressy outfit, I paired it with some heels, of course. So I went ahead and paired the look with these um, sandals that I picked up from Off Saks. It's just a Saks brand sandal. I picked these up when I was in Florida and I just think that this, if I go somewhere this weekend, I'm wearing this because I am feeling this. This is my favorite look um, by far. But yeah, I just think with the sandals, it's super cute. And I would probably carry, and I would probably carry this Chloe bag on my shoulder because it's, the one of the two bags that I own that actually um, goes with this outfit, I feel like. But this is the look. I think it's super cute. I love this. 
Don't be surprised if you see this on Instagram really soon. Also, I forgot to mention about this particular look. I would absolutely wear this with a pair of flat sandals like my Birkenstocks or even those Arizona Love sandals that I had on um, in the previous look or some other pair of sandals um, and wear it more casually. Um, so yeah, you can definitely wear this with flats. I would even put this on with my Stan Smiths or I would go all the way on the other end of the spectrum. Well, not on the other end of the spectrum, but I would probably wear like a high top sneaker. I think this would be really cute with like um, my, like some high top Chuck 70s, my parchment ones. I have a pair of parchment um, Chuck 70s and I think this would actually be cute. You know what, let me put it on and show it off. Okay, so I've switched over into the Chuck 70s. This color is parchment um so pretty much the same as the heels that i had on and then i made the bag a crossbody left the shirt the same left the shorts the same and this is the look um in a more casual way which i also really like a lot so yeah Okay guys, so that is going to conclude today's styling video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. You can definitely expect to see some of these outfits in vlogs and on Instagram and TikTok um, in your near future because I think I did something here. Let me know in the comments which um, outfit that you preferred, which way of styling um, that you think you like best. Do you like the more casual looks with the sneakers or do you like um, the coordinates more dressed up? Let me know, let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you all so, so much for watching if you don't make sure that you follow me on both instagram and tiktok where i make content almost daily and um i will talk to you all in the next video bye mm -hmm.